hi friends welcome back to my channel it's Ibilola Ko here and if you're new thank you for tuning in and I really hope you stay today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make this grilled fish that is absolutely delicious and roasted plantain if you want to know the tea this was so easy like extremely easy and it was so so good as always so let's just get right into the video Mackerel. I know I have told you guys that my best fish is catfish, but I absolutely love mackerel. This fish is so good. It's so tasty. This is one of those fishes that you don't even have to do too much, but it's still so good, you know. But yeah, guys, for this video, I wanted to actually season it. Trust me, if you use just salt, this would still give you absolutely deliciousness. But I added some oregano, I added some lemon pepper, I added some salt. You guys already know that I'm going to put all of the ingredients in the description box below. You don't even have to worry about that and the quantity that I used. But I'm just rubbing all of the ingredients and the seasoning that I put on this fish just rubbing it together just so it can be properly infused I'm also putting Cameroon pepper I love the flavor that Cameroon pepper gives my food it's also spicy so please skip this if you don't like spicy but I love spicy sometimes so I use Cameroon pepper I'm also adding some oil just so it's not too dry you can skip this if you're doing Team Fit Fam, but yeah, guys, there was no Team Fit Fam on this day. <laughs> so, yeah, I added some oil, and as you see here, guys, I'm just putting it in the oven. I'm going to grill it. Some people ask me, you know, I don't know how I'm going to get grill in my oven. So, guys, if your oven says broil, it means grill so that's another name for grill so you can absolutely grill your fish in your oven and I just grilled the first part I'm flipping it over I did this very delicately this video is sped up I didn't want to waste anybody's time but please this is fish It's very tender it's very soft it's very moist so you have to be careful when you're flipping it over I was extremely careful and I'm just showing you how beautiful. I appreciate my grilling skills, guys. This came out so, so good. And yeah, my fish is ready. Voila. <laughs> so I put this for about 20 minutes in the grill. It was on 365 degrees. If you wanted to, you know, grill faster, increase it, but keep on checking it. To be honest, I don't really, you know, check particular time. I just make sure I'm always there. I don't want my food to burn, but to be on the safe side, just put it on 375. On to our pepper sauce. So for this pepper sauce, I already baked my peppers because I love to just skip the cooking process. So I do that sometimes and I did it for this particular recipe. So I baked my pepper for about 20 minutes not too dry I just bake it for about 20 minutes and then I blend it I added some onions I added some peppers I added some garlic I added some ginger and that was it and you also don't want to blend it till it's very smooth so you want to make sure that it's a little bit rough and I'm just adding my pepper to some oil just to fry it that's how I do my pepper sauce. It's regular um, canola oil. You can use olive oil. You can use coconut oil. I just use the regular canola oil and that works for me. So I'm just going to 
season my pepper and you're going to see the seasonings that I use and yeah guys that's pretty much it so I'm going to be adding some ginger as you can see the measurement will be in the description box below I'm also going to be using some let's wait for it let's wait for it <laughs> some old bay seasoning I absolutely love old bay seasoning you guys see me put this in my food almost all the time it just has a very nice flavor since the day I tried it I haven't stopped using it so I'm also going to add some salt I didn't use any seasoning Bodilian seasoning to this recipe just cuz you know the simpler the better it would still taste absolutely delicious and that's it guys my pepper sauce was ready in about 15 minutes and it was so so good um, that's what you get when you grill your pepper it doesn't take so long um, I'm going to be making boily boile roasted plantain what do you guys call it in your culture I know different people call it different things I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly but guys I call it boily because that's how I grew up knowing it but for this video we're just going to call it roasted plantain so I'm just you know peeling my roasted plantain um, yeah guys I'm going to show you a trick that I do um, just so your roasted plantain is not soft and it just gets that boily feel and look you want to rub it with some salt water so this is just regular salt put in water I'm rubbing it on my plantain another thing that I did but I forgot to show you guys was I also soaked it for about five ten minutes um, before I peeled it so I soaked it in water or in salt water rather and I left it for a while and then I peeled it and then I put this on top so you just want to do that I've tried it trust me before I got to find out about this trick I just peeled my plantain without any salt water and it was a mess so make sure you do that so guys now I'm just I put my roasted plantain in the oven and it's ready <laughs> I know right it's not that simple I put it for about 20 minutes on high heat keep on checking it you don't want your plantain to to burn 375 or 350 is the safest and keep on checking it I can overemphasize that and guys this came out so delicious it was so good just take a look at my fish it was absolutely delicious this reminded me of Nigeria oh my god I miss my country so so much but yeah this reminded me of Nigeria I remember always buying this in the market with my mom and drinking it with Gary Ugh. but I didn't have any Gary so I used roasted plantain and look at this sauce guys how lush is this sauce guys you need to try this recipe and tell me how it works out for you I cannot wait to hear back from you guys I love 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 hearing back from you guys if you enjoyed this recipe please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel especially for more videos also hit the notification bell below just so whenever I upload the video you don't miss it please guys it really does help my channel and don't forget that subscription is also free it is free absolutely free thank you all for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next one enjoy